Ohio's debate week continued tonight. The two Democrats competing for their party's nomination for governor met face to face. Former Dayton Mayor Nan Whaley and former Cincinnati Mayor John Cranley are both hoping to become the second Democratic governor the, Ohio, the state of Ohio has seen in the last 30 years. News 5's John Kosick breaks it all down. They are two former mayors from Southwest Ohio making their case why they want to lead the entire state. Dayton's Nan Whaley arguing one party rule in Columbus has put the state on the wrong path. For the last three decades, we've had the same well-held lobbyists and politicians running our state house. And what has it got us? I believe Ohio deserves better. I will make sure your pay goes up, your bills go down, and we finally have a state government that's working for you. Cincinnati's John Cranley says Ohio needs a comeback, and he has a plan to do it. Guaranteed 30,000 jobs that pay 60,000 a year to build high-speed broadband and clean energy. We're going to pay for that by legalizing marijuana, taxing it, and putting the taxes into those jobs. And then we're going to put real money into people's pockets with a dividend like they have in Alaska and North Dakota. They stood together against Governor Mike DeWine on many issues, including gun reforms. Whaley recalling after the 2019 Dayton shootings, the crowd calling upon the governor to do something which he said he would. Never in my worst nightmare did I think that the thing he was going to do was to actually make it worse. Our communities are now less safe. Pointing to stand your ground and permitless concealed carry legislation. Mike DeWine did make it worse. Signing that outrageous bill, as well as stand your ground, is a stain on his soul. A bit of daylight between the two came on the issue of abortion. Both are pro-choice. Cranley, though, explaining coming to his position later in life. I was raised Catholic and started out in a different place on this issue. Like Tim Ryan, like Joe Biden, like many others. I am pro-choice, and as governor, I promise to veto any effort to undermine reproductive freedom. This is too important when Roe is about to fall to have someone in the governor's seat that just decided a few months before he announced for governor he was pro-choice. Early voting in this contest gets underway next Tuesday, April 5th. John Kasich, News 5. Okay, just a reminder here, there will be no debate between the Republican gubernatorial candidates. Governor Mike DeWine opted out. Jim Renacci followed suit. That left Joe Blystone, the only one left.